How's it going everyone? So on here and today we're back with more Dark Deception Monkey Business. This time I'm just going to be trying to get an S rank because I haven't done a video on the new update yet. The update they pushed out a while ago made the game significantly harder to a degree. Where there was four monkeys in the maze but now there's only three monkeys. Which makes it a little easier but the fact that monkeys are now forced to take different routes. They can't all follow each other to catch you. So the way you would use to do it is you'd basically get all of them to follow behind you and then you just run around the maze however you wanted and it'd be really easy. But now the monkeys are forced to take different routes around to catch you off and like basically corn you into different sections of the map. So it's become significantly harder in that aspect. So this is, I'm going to be trying to get an S rank as I go through these few runs now and see if I can actually manage it. Not dying is going to be the challenge. So let's see how these runs go. I'm just going to book it to this free tier room first. See if anything happens over here. So the fact there's only three monkeys now means there's there are only so many spawn. Yeah, one of them spawned in the kitchen area. So I'm going to go down here. Hopefully one didn't spawn on this side. No, nope, nothing on this side apparently. I'm just going to grab this one then do the loop. Yeah, there's only three monkeys here. There used to be four monkeys, which would have meant one spawned on each corner of the map. I may oh no, I managed to survive that one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, one monkey used to spawn on each corner of the map. But now there's only three. That would mean one one corner of the map is now open constantly, like at the start of the game. So it might be a good idea to start off by clearing out that corner. That way you've got one corner done and you don't have to revisit it again and you've only got the three corners to deal with. Because in my opinion, the corners are the most the most dangerous part on the map. The corners and exceedingly long corridors, which don't have any light in, which don't have, which only have like two routes in and out of. So it's going to be my goal basically. I, if I can, I'm going to find out which uh, which corner does not start with a monkey spawned in it. And with that, I'm going to then see if I can empty out that corridor first, that corner first. And then if I can do that, once I've done that, I'll start looting around the rest of the, the rest of the maze and then see how that, well that goes. I believe I know which corner they start, they don't spawn in from where I did it earlier. Where one came in from the kitchen and one wasn't coming from the other side. So I believe it'll be the other side that one doesn't spawn in. Hopefully I don't die. These two little corner corridors, are, I don't like those two corner corridors. They seem to be like places where it's like prime to die. Because you can easily get caught or fight from both directions. I'm going to need to come back around there again later. Oh, there's the red shard. So let's pick this one up see where they're coming from. Okay, there's two coming from that way, which is pretty handy. That means I can just run around here and grab these. I'm still not sure how long this red shard lasts entirely. Grab these two and then move back. Oh, one guy got one guy got cornered up from his route, so we had to turn around. Grab this and then run this way. I've only seen two monkeys. Oh, there's the other one. No, I've got to go this way instead. And there's all three of them. That guy's going to come from there, so I have to keep going ahead. Which means I'm safe to do this area. I believe I've got both of the secrets, so I don't need to worry about those anymore. This is a pretty good run so far, actually. I'm quite surprised for the first run of the video. Although I say the first run of the video, that's only because I was recording earlier and I completely forgot to turn on all of the audio. So the game was silent and I was silent. So I did a few runs earlier, I think it was about two or three. But because there was no audio, there's still no point in keeping it. Go this way and then turn down this way and then hopefully we can skirt around go around here and then carry on down this way to clear this area up I didn't get that secret uh, I'm not going back out there yet now I'm going to run out of here they're real close to me right now good thing I decided to stay in that room though that actually saved my life otherwise I would have died guaranteed I don't like this corridor. It's the same as the other corner corridor, but it's just longer. So it's a lot easier to get stuck in that corridor. I might actually do this. 
I'm tempted to say I might actually do this, but I could easily throw it away. I'm gonna go up here now. Oh, this entire corner is still empty. Oh no, this is a bad idea. Oh, this is the corner, kitchen corner. I've got a very bad feeling about this. I should be able to loop some around here if I get cornered. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, that was it. I was getting so close as well. Eleven shards left. Look at that. And they were all next to the they were all next to the end as well. Well, at least I got an easy finish. Just grab these three and then I'm done. That was a really good run, though. That was really good. I'm guessing I got an S on everything except lives lost. Yeah, as you can see, especially from when I had the red shard, the navigating around the maze without the monkeys has gone a lot harder because they all they all they all forced to take different routes. So if you don't know how to manage it well enough, you can easily get caught out. Well, that's the end of the first run. Like I thought, I got an S on everything except from lives lost. I did that surprisingly fast as well, seven minutes thirty-six. But that was a really good run. So let's go for another one. Right, and we're off to the second run. This time I'm just going to book it straight down to this corner. If I can clear out this corner immediately, like straight away, then that'll be pretty handy. And as I thought, the monkey, well, as far as I know, all the monkeys spawn in corners. And since there's nothing down here, that means this corner is pretty much always empty at the start. I wonder if I can, no, I can't do that. That's too dangerous. I wonder if I, uh, my main my main concern is going to be getting the corners done, because I always leave them out, and then it just kills me, I'm dead. Yeah. Well, that one was quick. Since I'm trying to S rank it, I'm just going to restart that. And then let's hook it down into this corridor there. Hook it down into the corner. It's actually really weird, it seems like if you start from fresh, like you go through the entire, like, um, the lobby of the hotel. It seems like you actually get a speed boost at the start for some unknown reason. Right, let's grab this secret. I can't go down that way yet, so let's come on back up here. And there'll be one coming from that way as well, if, if I'm right. So I'm going to go around here and then carry upwards. Carry on upwards. Oh, right, never mind. I'm gonna, just going to leave this way then. <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this time I can clear the top corner as well. Did he break his way through the kitchen? No, he didn't. That's quite a surprise, actually. There's one coming up from that side, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I might be dead here. Yes, I'm dead. Right, let's go down to this bottom corner again. I'm going to make this my strategy now. The fact that I can clear up this bottom corner immediately and get the secret out of it really easily. But this time, I'm going to add in the fact that in, since I'm in this bottom corner, they're all closing into this corner. So now I'm going to, after this I'm going to try and make it to the corner on the opposite end of the map. That way, that way, once they've all done, once they've all finished closing on this corner of the map, I will have my own chance to sort of skirt around and go to the other corner of the map. Hopefully that will make it a lot easier for me to clear out that corner first. Or second, should I say. Not going that way, I guess. Let's go straight down this way. I'm going to go through it from this corner, from this side here. Oh, that might be a bad idea, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and grab the secret. Now, there's one coming around from the other side. I'm going to have to loop it. I think I'll use this. They're on each side of the room. But as far as I know, they're not in front. So I... Okay, he was just standing right next to the door. Didn't even realise. Maybe I should have just... I should have put myself right next to the wall. Maybe that would have caused them to go further to that side. We got this secret. Now let's sort of waste some time in the middle of the map. So everything has a chance to close in on me. And that way I can then start racing to the other end of the map. There should be one coming from over there. Yep, there he is. There should be one hour oh, to the other side, onto my left. I'm gonna 
go around here and then start heading left up here and try and clear out this corner. It's going to be very dangerous though, I can feel it. I'm going to have to hide in that room again. If I wouldn't be surprised if I have to ride in that room again. I may have worked around that too fast. Right. Go around this other side, please. Okay, there's one on that side now. Okay, we're leaving. The only, the only painful thing about doing that is the fact that it means I have to go back up there and clear out that entire area still. Are they all left? Nope. There's still one stuck up there. Maybe the fact they're all stuck up there means I can now clear out this area pretty easily. Which means I'd have three corners almost over. But that other corner there is still, still needs to be done basically. But the fact that it's partially done means I just have to loop around it. Doing this is probably a bad idea. But this is a little little a little maze area on its own. Okay, I'm actually alive. It's actually quite a surprise. So I've only got two corners left to do really. There's the red shard over there, which I might try and get. Now I'm gonna leave it for now actually. I'm gonna run down here and then try and clear out this last corner. If I can clear out this corner, that means I've only got that other corner that I was just in to clear out, like, fully. I'm not going to loop this either, or should I try and loop it? No, I'm not going to try and loop it. I heard one that was too close to me. So let's just leave. I might try and run straight up to the top. That way I can sort of get a head start on clearing this corner. Why is there still one up here? here it comes. He's stuck against that wall. Alright, I know what I'm going to do then. I'm going to grab this, then run round to him, see if I can still do it. Is he still stuck against that wall? He is as well. There's two of them up here. What? All three of them are there. Those two have got themselves stuck. I think they're trying to ba they're basically trying to both use that that route to get me, and their AI, their AI isn't allowing them to both to use the same route, so it's causing them to get permanently stuck in that corner. Huh? That's interesting. I've found a bug. I've found a bug that makes it easy to S rank this because now there's only one monkey chasing me, unless they both get out, of course. Like if one of them gets out, the other one might have a significantly easy chance getting out. But if neither of them get out, I've only got one monster monkey chasing me, which will make this a lot easier. Well, at least if nothing, I found a bug that I can report to the developers. So that room is actually really helpful in regards to S-ranking this right now. Oh, I think one of them found its way out. Because there wasn't one coming from that direction before. Yeah, okay, there's two monkeys chasing me now. So they got out, they managed to get out finally. Or one of them managed to get out. I don't know if the other one's managed to get out yet, or is he still stuck in that corner. But this might mean I got an easy S rank. It just means I haven't actually figured out a way to do this yet. I've just managed to find a way to bug them out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite funny if I still manage to die. If I still manage to die, that means I've thrown away a really easy S rank. Shut up. I've basically found all the rest of them. For... Wait, where's the last one? Oh, it's over there. Right, now all I need to do is get to the end. Is that one? Yeah, it is. Alright, hold this way. Doing that was a bad idea, I reckon. It was a very, very close, close call. I have to run this way. Take a bit of a longer route around. There we go. S rank. All done. All it required was that I bug them out, apparently. Shoot, he knows you're here now. You need to escape. 
I might have just got lucky where they just sort of couldn't figure out a way out of that little hallway themselves. But then if they if if the time like, sort of if they would have been flicking constantly between the two paths, both of them, to try and figure it out. I might have gotten lucky where it took them so long. They might have done it a lot sooner, depending on where I was going. That should be an S rank, hopefully. There's no escape for you. You escaped. Yep, look at that. Easy S rank because I managed to bug them out. Diary unlocked. Well, that's gonna be one way to maybe currently S to maybe currently S rank monkey business with the new update of the updated AI. If you can bug them both out in that top corner, then you've gotten one monkey chasing you for a while, which makes it significantly easier. But it's a good note to take in mind that the fact that there's there's one corner that's always empty at the start of the start of the game, so you can use that corner to clear that one out and get a bunch of easy shards. Then maybe go back to the go to the corner on the other side of the map, hide in that secret room to let them all gang up there, and then you can dart your way back out again and sort of work your way from there, trying to clear out the corners first, and then going into the middle of the maze, basically. But that's going to be it. So if you had any comments on the run, or would you like to see anything played, anything else played on the channel, leave those in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.